Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So I have a video request from Holly that says, I started nursing and I'm at a community college and I plan on bridging to my BSN and MSN. I've been watching your YouTube videos leading up to my first day of class and I'm so thankful for your willingness to help those of us that are completely lost and terrified. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to ask you how you found the motivation to constantly study. I find myself getting distracted so easily and I really need to learn to sit and focus for hours on end. Thank you so much for your time. So I really, really like this video request because I had a lot of the same problems as a nursing student, which I'm sure as you know, a lot of you guys are you know about to finish up this semester or about to finish nursing school. So how do you find the motivation to keep studying, keep pushing, especially when you're just completely exhausted and probably hate nursing right now? So the first tool that I did was I would basically use pain and pleasure. So the way we motivate ourselves is by two principles, and a lot of people teach this, but it's basically the pain pleasure principle. We as humans get motivated in two different ways. We are motivated sometimes by pain and we are motivated also sometimes by pleasure. A lot of times though, which is in my case, we are more motivated by pain than we are pleasure. So this picture actually gives you a really good example of someone that might not have had motivation to push it, which all of a sudden has a tremendous amount of motivation to go as fast, hard, and long as they possibly could because there is a very big motivating factor behind them. So hopefully we are not having such painful um, stimulation as that, as that photo, but just to give you an idea. So knowing that we are motivated by either pain or pleasure, we have to make sure that our visions are going to motivate us to do what we want to do. So what a lot of people do is they get worried about failing and they only focus on failing and then they see all these horrific you know, thoughts of them failing and not passing and having to retake things, but they don't give themselves the gifts of actually thinking, okay, this is a thought, this isn't what I want, so let's plan so that we don't get there. So basically when you're in fear, your mind is running away with itself. And you know, these are legitimate fears because if you don't study for hours, you won't pass and you will have wasted so much time. You will, you know, upset your parents. You can, you can let your family down. You can let your children down if you have children. So there's a lot at stake if you don't succeed. So knowing that though, taking this fear and taking this energy, devise a plan when you're feeling this way. So when you're feeling down, when you're feeling like, you know, you're, you're potentially letting your parents down, you're potentially letting your spouse down, or you don't know if you're gonna pass, or you just got a bad grade, make a plan at that time. You have to kind of just like rise up and just take strength and just say, okay, what do I have to do to make sure that this doesn't happen and this does happen? So use that time when you don't feel good to devise a plan. So that's it. So motivate yourself by pain. Now, another way to motivate yourself is by pleasure. And you, you don't wanna really stick to just one or the other because basically at different times one's going to motivate you more than the other so the way I motivate myself by pleasure is by just imagining just ridiculous things so here's just a few of the things that I would imagine when I was in nursing school The thing is, of course, a lot of these things might not come true, but you know what? It, they very well could. And so by having this big grand vision for yourself that you know things are just gonna be absolutely wonderful is actually a smart thing to do because they very well could be wonderful if you allow yourself to dream and push yourself. So a lot of people get nervous with big dreams because they think, you know, I'm never going to accomplish it. I shouldn't think like this. I shouldn't disappoint myself. Well, it's a disappointment for you to not try or to not push yourself. So what you want to do is you want to imagine your life so much better than what it is right now because that is what's going to actually just give you that extra boost when you need it to pay attention to the books or pay attention to what you need to read or what you need to focus on. So those are some things that I do when I'm trying to motivate myself using the pleasure principle. So the next tip that I have for you is to eat very light. I know it sounds like, I don't know, like it shouldn't belong here, but I have to mention food here because food can zap your brain power or can charge your brain power like 
this. So you'll find, I don't wanna like have this be a diet video because I already have a lot of videos on what I eat, but the truth is listen to your body and when you eat something, pay attention to how you feel after that. I know a lot of people that thrive off of proteins or thrive off of carbs or thrive off of different foods. So after you eat something, just pay attention to your mental clarity and see did that take energy away or did that add energy to you? So, and try to eat more of the things that are going to add energy to your life. And if you can't really control everything that you're eating, I know if you're a student and you have you know, a certain meal plan or whatever, try to eat good sized portions so that they're like smaller portions, more frequent, because it's those big heavy meals that, I don't know, I just wanna take a nap afterwards. And napping and studying do not go hand in hand. So definitely pay attention to what you eat. The next thing that I would recommend doing is to switch up your studying. So I talk a lot about this in this video, which I will post right here. I also talk about it in my book. So I basically devised a study plan, which, which I share in different steps. And the reason I did that was because there was so much that needed to be learned. I couldn't just sit there and read. I realized that just wasn't working because I would read a paragraph three times and still have no idea what the paragraph was about. So I said, okay, this has got to change. I have to split this up. I have to like, you know, space it out and mix it up. So mixing up a lot of different ways of studying can really help. So if you do group studies, studying group studies, if you have a chance to pick up my book, I really think that it would help you out a lot. I'd share a ton of strategies there. If you click below, um, you can have access to a free chapter, which I highly recommend. Um, I get emails all the time saying that this book has literally changed nursing students' lives. So I'm not, I don't, you know, I don't wanna like push it so much. I'm just really telling you, I got two emails today that said that the book really, really helped them and it's getting them through nursing school so if I have to you know recommend something then I would definitely <laughs> recommend picking it up because more than that it's also inspirational and motivational and you know a great handy book to have by your side while you're in nursing school so the next tip is obviously like you said you're getting distracted limit those distractions when you are studying turn your ringer off turn all of the notifications off so it's actually funny because like I actually during the week I delete Facebook from my phone every week I do download and re-download it every single weekend. So sometimes my husband's like, oh, um, go ahead and post that picture on Facebook. I'm like, oh, we're gonna have to download the app. So he thinks it's weird, but I don't. I think that, you know, I'm trying to control my focus and my time. So I don't think it's ridiculous. The other thing I do is I track when I've communicated with people. So on my Google Calendar, which I use like religiously, I basically stay who I spoke with every day. And that way, if I'm thinking that I've neglected somebody, I can clearly look at the calendar and say, well, actually I spoke to them just five days ago. So I think that's okay for now. Um, because when you're tired, like all sorts of distractions will come to you. And so if you can just clear things up with a little bit of common sense, I think that'll help you out a lot as well. And the last tip I'm gonna have for you today is just to get as involved as possible as you can. So really throw yourself into this. Throw yourself into where you are and master this part and time of your life. I really feel like we are, you know, beings that are having this experience and we're really meant to master what we are going through at the moment. So you're in nursing school, it's your job right now to just master nursing school. And that means just throwing yourself into it completely, wholeheartedly. So when you're in lectures, make sure you are really you know, participating, raising your hand every time you don't understand something or asking for clarification or visiting your professors as, you know, as much as you can. The more involved you'll get into it, the more you'll enjoy it because you'll understand what's going on and let me tell you nursing the body medical field it's it's unreal it's really amazing there's so much cool stuff that goes on in the nursing profession in the healthcare that there's a lot to get excited about so that is my a to your q i really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you guys have any more video requests please let me know you can always post it in the comments below you can email me you can tweet me my username for pretty much everything is empower in and anyways i can't wait to see you in my next video i will see you guys very soon Love you. Bye.